Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel of daily tech news and reviews. What's up guys it's time to talk about what Google is cooking for 2021. It may finally be the time for Google to step up and bring the much needed, much awaited camera upgrade for the Pixel 6. They've been using the same camera hardware, pretty much ever since the Pixel 2 all the way to Pixel 5. It's finally time for the upgrade, but who will they choose, Samsung or Sony? But before we continue, if you somehow like what you see here, subscribe to the channel is definitely awesome. And now let's get back to the video. Samsung just officially announced their most insane camera sensor the ISOCELL GN2. This is the world's largest sensor at the moment, but it's gonna be defeated by Sony, because Sony is bringing their upcoming IMX800 series sensor, which is said to have a size of 1 inch, that is as big as their professional point-and-shoot camera, which is pretty crazy. The upcoming Huawei P50 Pro is rumored to be the first phone to use this one, in Sony sensor and then rumors are also saying that Pixel 6 might use this as well. Let's take a look at all the current Google leaks which may help us know what the eventual decision will be. We've heard already that Google is working on their own processor in collaboration with Samsung. The processor with the codename Whitechapel is being built on Samsung's 5 nanometer architecture. The chip in question may be very similar to the Exynos 1080, but with Google's own additions on top of it. Samsung is already giving their solution to other brands, we've seen the Exynos 1080 coming to the Vivo X60 Pro. The Exynos 1080 has about the same performance as Exynos 2100 in real life, built on the same architecture and are using the same GPU. This new Samsung X Google chip will be a lot stronger than what the current Pixel 5 is rocking, especially if they want to use the ISOCELL GN2 or any big smartphone sensor to handle all that processing, they need a flagship great chip, which is why the Pixel 6 will definitely be stronger. Now Google and Samsung are working on one more thing, which could very well come out this year according to a very notable source, Ross Young. Out comes the foldable Pixel lead, we've heard about this in the news already and now more notable leaksters are saying that, this actually is a real thing, and we could see this coming this year. According to South Korean source, Samsung is offering their foldable displays to multiple companies including Oppo, Xiaomi, Vivo and Google. Google has requested a 7.6-inch foldable display from Samsung which is a sign that they're probably thinking of making a Galaxy Fold kind of foldable phone. There are some other Chinese manufacturers as well, that make foldable screens, but if Google is specifically asking Samsung for the foldable display, and as we know Samsung is playing a key role in the upcoming Exynos Google chip for the Pixel 6, it kind of make more sense that Google may actually use Samsung's sensor rather than Sony. Again, there is no concrete leak regarding that, but something really big happened. For the first time in six years, Samsung will be releasing Android smartwatch, Yes they are actually ditching their Tizen OS which they have worked on for years, only to go for Android Wear OS. This is such a huge move for Samsung to make right now which once again points that there's something big going on between Samsung and Google. It's time to make the Pixel great again with the best hardware from Samsung combined with Google's image processing, we could actually see the biggest significant upgrade on any flagship phone in the recent time. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Also, in the news we have the first look at the Pixel 5a. This is very confusing because it looks exactly like the Pixel 4a, there may be some new internal upgrades but from the looks of it, it is pretty much exactly like the Pixel 4a. Still it's going to be a solid affordable phone, but I am super excited regarding the upcoming Pixel 6 series. I really hope that Google makes a comeback in the flagship game. So guys, that's for today's latest tech news. Let me know your thoughts in the comment down below. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel will definitely make my day, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.